What are we even doing here? Well, it looks like the fishwife has arrived. Yeah, that's right. We did fishwife a couple of months ago. We did their tuna. Now we're gonna try their smoked trout. Yeah, 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 yeah. We went on their website. We picked it out. I think it's still available. And uh, I didn't open the box because I wanted to show you guys this uh, nice tape that they put, you know, on the box. It's so exciting. You get this and you know there's fish inside, right? And you get all these nice little pictures of the boat and a life preserver and a fishing pole. Yeah, yeah, we like these little touches, right? I'm gonna open this up. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Somebody's having an emergency in the neighborhood. Okay, all right, we get a little paraphernalia. I don't think I got stickers last time. Yeah, that's cool. Let's get the stickers out of the way. And then inside we got three boxes of this stuff, this other box. Go away, look at this. Okay, three of these, okay. Okay, okay, yeah. Fishwife brand smoked rainbow trout. Raised in Idaho. Rich in mega threes, 100% traceable. Now they say like uh, raised by the Snake River, right? So the Snake River goes through Idaho. Yeah, raised without growth hormones, antibiotics, and genetic engineering. But does that mean that they're like raised in a farm or something? Or do they catch them out of the Snake River? I don't know, man. I mean, I don't have any strong, strong feelings about eating farm-raised fish uh, because, because I don't, you know? And I don't want to eat enough of like any kind of one fish except for like Bella sardines to where like I would be really concerned about the implications health-wise of like eating too much of it. Come on, you hey! You want to live forever? But whatever, you know? Nice green box, just like the tuna had a nice box. So excited. Let's go. Inside, plain can. Let's remove this. What are we gonna do? Let's get this knife off the table, huh? Okay, all right, all right, very interesting. Ooh, smells good, smells smoky. Like their tuna, you know, the smokiness was a real factor. And um, uh, look, this, this is all small pieces. It looks like they've, they've sort of cut, you know, half a filet into a bunch of pieces. So it's like, so, as if you could reconstruct this, you know? And then you'd have sort of a fish. Pretty stiff feeling. About the same kind of consistency as that tuna. So seemingly the same tack taken with the kind of smoking they're doing. Mmm. I think I like this better than the tuna. Really great. You know, it's kind of um, dry, but the smokiness is kind of giving it this context that it's like, well, beef jerky isn't moist, you know, it's dry. And this isn't fish jerky, but I don't know, it's, it's, it's kind of its own thing. It's different from some of the other trouts that I've had, you know, the canned trouts, where they're, they're pretty soft and uh, there's some flakeability. This is not flaking. This is really like, hey, look, we really smoked it. And unfortunately, I'm pretty ignorant about smoking fish and the kinds of textures that are achievable with uh, fish that are smoked to varying degrees.
this is a bigger fish than say like a um, you know a bristling sardine uh, and the smoke seems to penetrate the fish I think a lot of this color is due to the uh, smoke right you know we got this sort of caramel color that sort of permeates the fish gosh these are like little pieces of candy it's a really sweet taste we got here extra virgin olive oil garlic salt brown sugar and the alder smoke and so yeah hey, I guess it's the brown sugar I'm really enjoying yeah like little candy fish I'm not sure if this is like the kind of smoking that like hey your average rainbow trout fisherman would do you know they catch a fish and they're like hey man I'm gonna smoke a few of these or if this is kind of um an unusual process you know and they're not they're not laying in the oil here you know there's not a there's not a bunch of oil waiting at the bottom a couple of these pieces have gotten a little bit more permeated with olive oil but for the most part it's not a an olive oil show warming up here in uh, the Flatbush area of Brooklyn so basically it's gonna sound like a war zone from about 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. for the next six months and I for one love it This is the last piece, man. I always say it's a pretty good sign if I just kind of go the whole can and I don't have a lot of interesting things to say. Really delicious, really different. I don't know where else to find something just like this, so I think it's worth trying if you like smoked trout. The only thing about the fishwife stuff is you have to commit to it. It's a decent price for a premium canned trout, but you wind up with three cans of it. But I don't think it'll be a problem. Um, yeah, and, and a lot of people would like to eat this. So if you have one of the cans and it's not your thing or if it's too smoky or something, you can give these away and they'll get eaten. It's not like some kind of crazy thing. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Yo, look at all this fish I gotta eat. First of all, I owe you guys the exciting finale of the Trader Joe's series. We're gonna eat some lobsters, French stuff, anchovies, and whoa, Patagonia Provisions sent me a whole box of who knows what, so we're gonna have to get into that. Bye.